everyone. And thank you for giving me this opportunity of being here today. I just flew in from Jamaica on Friday to be here for this great event. And indeed, it's a wonderful occasion. It's a wonderful thing that Mr. Bill Thingling and his organization is doing. And there's a little thing I want to say about Bill Thingling and his organization. I myself have an organization in Jamaica. It's called Negro Education Environmental Trust. And over the past seven years, we have been giving away books and computers. And without the help of Bill Tingling, that could not be possible. And we have built, since last February, eight libraries in Jamaica. Every library has 10 computers and 1,000 books. And without Bill's help, that could not be possible. So I'm here today to thank Mr. Bill Tingling and his organization for the great work that he's doing, not just here in the United States, but in the Caribbean as well. Winston founded the Negro Education Environment Trust, an organization geared towards uplifting the quality of education and the standard of living in Jamaica. Join me in welcoming Mr. Winston Wellington as he accepts the award for Distinguished Business Community Service. Congratulations. Winston, on behalf of the Committee for Assemblyman Nick Perry, it is my pleasure to present to you the Distinguished Business Community Service Award. Congratulations to you and keep up the good work. Yes, thank you very much. I'm deeply honored to oversee such an award from Nick Perry and his committee. However, I certainly could not have achieved all of this uh, great work without the help of others. First of all, I'd like to thank all New Yorkers for supporting the Winthrop Car Service for the last 40 years. Also, sitting at my table is many of my friends and colleagues who have allowed me to be what I am today. Beginning from the right, left is Mr. Barry Westcar, who collects all my books and computers in New York. Uh, next to him is Mr. Wayne Delion, who is uh, now networking all our libraries that we're doing in Jamaica with kids for keyboard. And next to him is uh, Angela Sutherland, our secretary, and her colleagues beside her. And next is Mr. Bill Tingley from School News Nationwide, who has been a wonderful help in making this possible. And there's, next to him is no other than Mr. Dennis Hawthorne. Mr. Dennis Hawthorne has shipped over one and a half million books and thousands of computers, free of cost to Jamaica for our organization. A big hand for Mr. Dennis. And next to him is Mr. Bunny Burrell and his female companion, who has been a great help to our organization. I want to also take time out to make mention that uh, come uh, the 13th of November, we'll be opening another uh, library in Jamaica, and again, I can't do it without the help of not only my friends and colleagues, also my sons. Wingate Gates is right here with me, and he's been a great supporter of the organization, and I want to congratulate all of you for giving me this help. Thank you very much for that.
those missions that is heartfelt, and we are understand how important it is to bring quality health care to Jamaica, to that region. And so we salute him in his effort and encourage all to be supportive as we build and build a hospital facility in the river. Today we have Mr. Derek Cyrus. He's one of NEAT's board member and a practicing attorney here in New York. And he'll give us a brief synopsis of exactly what the hospital will do for our people in Jamaica. Mr. Cyrus? Yes, I, as a board member of NEAT, I think embarking on this endeavor by Winston Wellington, it's, it's one that will benefit the underserved community in Jamaica. I think with the support of our broad based community at large and folks here from the diaspora will be of great benefit not only to Jamaica, Jamaica uh, the residents of Jamaica, but to the diaspora as well. I think with, with, with the help of uh, our corporate sponsors and, and those that are committing themselves to make this endeavor uh, a worthwhile uh, benefactor to all, uh, we, we will be remiss if we don't thank currently the supporters of, uh, of the organization, those who are currently supporting us and those who are yet to come on board. Again, uh, God bless and um, we look forward to doing great things with the help of our, of our, our community. You know, uh, my name is our city council member Matthew Vivian. I'm city council member Matthew Vivian. And I want to commend Mr. Winston and Willington because he's going to build up a hospital in Jamaica. This is so important. Health is the most precious gift that we can receive from God. You know, without health, there's nothing anyone can do. You may have a lot of money, you may have a lot of power, you may be beautiful, but if you don't have health, there's nothing you can do. And I believe, you know, leader, leaders, you know, they have the responsibility to make sure that the people get access to quality health care. That's the reason I can say Mr. Willington is a true because as society, as a society, we members of the society, we have the obligation to make sure that the people that we are serving see the best way to I think this is a wonderful, wonderful labor in the project. I'd like to make it. We have Mr. Unipar, very active political person here in New York, and also the mother of Congresswoman Yvette Clark. She will explain to you exactly how important it is to have the hospital built in Negril. Ms. Clark, could you write in on that for us, please? So certainly, um, Negril is one of the tourism destinations in Jamaica, and a very important destination. And apart from that, that, that um, southern end of Jamaica needs to have a state-of-the-art hospital. Um, you can imagine if we had a state-of-the-art hospital in Negril, um, how important it would be not only for the residents, but for our um, tourists who come to, to the destinations in Jamaica, knowing that if something happens, there is a hospital um, that is there to address their medical needs at any point in time. And as, you, as everybody well know, health care is one of the critical issues for the island of Jamaica, for returning residents in particular who wants to come home and don't need to fly back either to England or to um, Florida um, to get their medical care. So I am uh, I'm in support of the hospital and will do all I can to be supportive of having that hospital built in the grave. Good. I am one of Jamaica's honorees um, as a Commander of the Order of Distinction, given that honor by Jamaica in uh, 1999. I also have my doctorate of letters from the University of Technology in Jamaica. And most people know me uh, that my roots run deep in Jamaica. I'm a Jamaican maroon from a compound town. And so St. Elizabeth is my home. And I am dedicated to the development of our nation. Um, in whatever way that I can be of assistance, using my name, my contacts, and the energy that is left now that I'm a retired. <laughs>